Welcome to the Artie Crafty Planner channel. Today we are looking at some typo planners. Stay tuned to the end for a giveaway. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. I was in typo yesterday. We don't have a typo in our town, but I was about an hour away and that town has a typo. And they had all these planners and they were supposed to be 40% off. All three of these scanned at $10 and this one scanned at $10.19. So I thought we would take a look at them. We have a spiral bound, we have timed, and then we have a weekly without times. Love purple, so to find one in purple was amazing. And I have got a few planners for review, but when I saw these, I was like, they have to come home with me. So first off, we'll look at the weekly we'll work our way up now they have the same cover on the back and front that one has rose gold embossed 2019 and typo on the back and then on the front this one has 2019 just printed as well as typo on the back now these are normally $17 and they were down to $10 this one is for me and this one is for Mr. Mod I have bought him one of the Kaiser Craft minis but I want to deck it out so this will give me a little bit of time to deck it out and for him to be able to plan. We start with a very heavy page, the year ahead for, and it has hours, days, weeks, months, 2019, but it does not have an hourly in there. Now, this page is glued a little bit onto this one, so it doesn't quite lay flat. And you've got your <laughs> personal information, and I assume it is the same for both. Yep. So it says, name, address, work, mobile phone, email, website, Instagram, Twitter, nicknames, pet names, car name, early bird or night owl, celeb crush, fave karaoke song, dream car, tea, coffee, order, first concert, least favorite foods. And then it says, in case of emergency, notify, important telephone numbers, doctor, dentist, accountant, other important information. And then on the next page, we have a 2019 daily but the numbers are right in the middle of the days. They are not too dark, so you could write over the top of them, but I find that a, a bit weird. Then you have reference calendars for 2018, 2019, and 2020. Then the next page is public holidays for Australia. So they're our Australia-wide ones. Then we have state, New Zealand, anniversary days for New Zealand, South Africa, USA, Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, and Jordan. Then you have a bunch of contact spaces, which is pretty handy. Random days to celebrate. Festival of Sleep, January 3rd. National Rubber Ducky Day. <laughs> World Hello Day. Have a Bad Day Day, what the heck? Teddy Bears Picnic Day. July 10. Hmm, I thought that was in May. Then we have traits of the zodiac. So they, they kind of encompass a lot in here. Then there's random challenges. Go an entire day without checking social media. Help out a neighborhood charity. Give up sugar, reduce sugar intake. Buy an actual paper book from a physical bookstore. Try meditating like really, really try this time. Try out a recipe you found on Pinterest. There is lots of them on there. And then there's my 2019 bucket list. Then this is what drew me to these, is the fact that they have a monthly calendar. I like this for putting in when all my direct debits are coming out of my bank and working out my budget and paydays and things because I have one small week, one big week. So I just like to have everything planned out and budgeted. And then we have these nice big boxes. The only downside is that Saturday and Sunday are on the one day, but you could quite easily divide that in half. There is a lot of space on Monday to Friday and the book does lay flat and you do have the monthly spread for each month. Now we'll go to the back and see if there's anything. There's just December 2019 notes and then a bunch of note pages and then you have your thick page and you have a pocket and we have the elastic to keep it closed and the ribbon for your placeholder and that is the same for both. So they are not too thick, they're relatively thin when compared to the hourly. I imagine they'd be like the width of a bujo or something like that. I don't own any bullet journals. They are comparable to say a Moleskine regular book that I have a couple of them. Next we will have a look at the A5 daily. Now 
they have lots of different patterns not just these they have Harry Potter I think they have Star Wars they have in the various iterations they have bigger ones not sure if they had smaller ones they may have I just happen to like this size again we have the embossed 2019 now this is just held on with a pop dot which will come right off <laughs> this says hot damn you're weird I like it typo shop <laughs> So we have the year ahead for, we have the same information page, the same 2019 calendar, reference calendars, public holidays, contacts, dates to celebrate, random dates to celebrate, traits of the zodiac, random challenges, and my bucket list. Then we start on the 31st of December. The paperweight feels decent. It's not super smooth. The pages in this are actually smoother. So these two have different pages. I'm not going to be able to test this one, but I will test this one. It's a slightly thinner paper and a little bit rougher. You have your hourly and it's gray strips and plain strips. So you could write and then decorate if you wanted to, but you don't have a lot of space for decorating in this one. So you have your daily, you have the January month down there, but it looks like there is no monthly in this one. You just have your daily pages and if you just give them a press down, it sits nice and flat. The days are all the same and you go all through the year like that. And then at the back we have December. Now none of the holidays are on the days, which is good. So if you don't celebrate that, those days that are shown, it doesn't matter. You can put your own holidays in. You have a couple of note pages at the back, a heavy duty piece of paper there. And then you have your pocket, which can fit quite a lot of stuff in it. And you have your ribbon here to show you where you're up to. And you have the elastic closure so that it keeps your journal closed. Then lastly, we have the spiral bound which gives you a lot of room for expansion if you want to add stickers and things again this is just held on with a pop dot then we have 2019 planner this agenda belongs to this one was $20 down to $10 so this one was $30 down to $10 so that was a bargain for a spiral planner it is slightly bigger than the A5 planners I'm not sure if that's B6 I don't have a lot of planners to compare it to if anybody knows what size slightly bigger than A5 is let me know in the comments below after the, this agenda belongs to we have a 2019 calendar we have name contacts and medical this is actually a lot less detailed they're not asking all those extra questions as in the other one a bit more grown up and sophisticated and then we have the public and bank holidays for all the same places again we have a to do with a grid pattern at the bottom then we have the tabs for our months which are in purple our dividers are in the black and white are they all black and white yes and they just have this black and white stripe which can be zhuzhed up and decorated the coating on the tabs comes down just a little bit onto the black and white on the back it is plain purple i would rather have had that on the front <laughs> but that's my preference on the side we have this black stripe and notes and it's divided into a grid and the faint purple lines then we have a monthly with the grid on the side happenings and headlines and highlights so i'll be able to put my budget in there quite easily then we have the layout which is all purple they did have others of these but the one i went to didn't have many of these spiral bound left and i was in a rush so i didn't really look in them to see what they were like maybe on their website they'll have better pictures so there is faint lines but again you can cover them over with whatever you want the lines up here are slightly darker than these lines down here next to your dates and of course you can write or add stickers into the dates if you want to every page has a notes at the back if it's not on the back of one of these pages they give you a separate page for notes saturday and sunday are separate so if you do a lot of things on saturday and sunday you can add them in then you have february the note page to start the monthly spread an extra note page on the back because it starts on the first so this week is split in half which is kind of a little irritating but not that big of a deal really then on the back of this month you have another monthly page i'm guessing that all the months are going to be split in half like this and there we have our notes monthly more notes march the end of that week and we move into march so all the months are the same this is december 
and we have all the same things it goes to December 31st and you just have note pages and a to-do at the back oh each one of these is a to-do too I didn't realize you had notes on one side and to-do on the other side I don't understand how to use grid patterns so that's not gonna help me very much <laughs> but I did like the purple it's all about the purple the spirals are huge they feel quite firm have the join here so if you wanted to take the covers out you could I think I would just decorate over the top of them and have that little stripe down the side because I wouldn't want to ruin my spirals but that's just me <laughs> I've had bad experiences with spirals in the past so I don't want to damage them it opens all the way quite nicely the spirals are huge as I said so that allows for a lot of expansion that is your planner you've got all that spiral room to add to I'm going to grab a Tombow and I cannot brush later so don't expect any brush lettering I'm going to grab a friction pen and I'm going to grab a big market oh, there's my sharpie so I'll grab the sharpie as well I'll flip to my monthly and I will so as not to just have scribbles in my book what I'm going to do is write the letters that I normally write for my paydays this one is not a normal payday and then big little and then the sharpie big now let's see if we have any bleed through so the big market left some bleed through the others shadowed which is nothing unusual in a planner so it is quite safe to use your tombos in here they don't bleed all the way through the paper I'm just going to write a couple of my direct debits in we'll check that one again shadowing with the bullet tip but not quite bleeding through so we've done the tombow let's do the market if that one comes through I'll end up covering that up with a sticker that just means I know I can't use the big market I don't have a lot of pens to test this is my favorite to write with the violet friction so that one again ghosting but not bleed through and then finally the sharpie and again ghosting but no bleed through so the market is out but these other three pens work fine in there so if you're a hand letterer you can hand letter in this journal and it won't be too much of an issue my only issue is the Saturday and Sunday on one because I do plan things for both days so I'll end up just dividing that okay now we'll test the spiral bound and I will do the same thing and this paper it's quite smooth it feels a decent weight but I'm not sure how the pens are going to go so I'll have this open so I can do the same thing I'll flip this over for a minute and we'll go with the Tombow that's the brush side then I have the friction the Bic and the Sharpie and at the moment none of them are bleeding through so that's pretty good we'll try with the Tombow bullet tip now that has not bled through then I'll grab this one and see if there's bleed through there is so it does bleed through I just wasn't as heavy-handed as I was for the letter as I was for writing voter so definitely avoid the big markets no bleed through minimal ghosting there was more ghosting with the Tombow than with the Sharpie you can feel that a little bit because it's a ballpoint pen there is a little bit of it going into the paper but again just ghosting and very faint ghosting at that for the pilot friction pen see if I have a regular ballpoint pen this is one of the Kmart pens that I hated because it bled through I'm just trying to think what else I could write on here all right New Year's Day you can feel where I've written but it hasn't bled through like it does on the Kmart papers that they sold these to go with so we'll do that again on here again no bleed through and just a small ridge one downside is none of these have pen loops so you can't add a pen to them they all do have the great big huge pocket that you can add stickers and things to except for this one this one doesn't have anything you have two big spaces at the front and back so you could add pockets if you wish I will be giving away this one the daily hourly I cannot do hourly not yet anyway so this is a 2019 calendar and I thought that one of my lucky viewers could win it 
Now I can only send this to Australia. I will put anyone who enters name into the draw. If the first person drawn is from overseas, they will get a $10 PayPal because that is how much I paid for this. And I will continue to draw names until someone from Australia wins. That is because this weighs too much to post overseas cheaply. Instead, I thought if the first person out was a overseas viewer that they would just get ten dollars paypal and i would draw again and try and get an aussie only the first overseas person will get the voucher if they are the first person drawn out if an australian is drawn out they get the planner and there's no more draws i just noticed that this one is in gold not the rose gold i wish it was in the rose gold because it looks pretty up so what do you have to do to win all you have to do is leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the typo planners and what country you're from and subscribe so i can add your name into the draw as i said only the first overseas winner will win and only if the first winner is an overseas person drawn a little complicated and convoluted I know but I do have to draw this till an Aussie is drawn just because this planner starts next month this competition will be open for two weeks so they won't get it quite in time for first part of January but I will try and send it out as soon as somebody has won okay that's it guys don't forget comment below let me know what you think of the typo planners and if you want to be entered in the draw make sure you leave what country you are from you must be a subscriber to win at the moment i don't have many subscribers so it won't be too hard to tell if you're subscribed or not thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time bye for now i forgot to mention two things the first one is sorry about the fan it's just been super 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 hot here and it was too hot to turn it off and film because even though I've only got two little lights they generate a fair bit of heat and so we had to leave the fan on and the other thing is the disclaimer that this giveaway is in no way associated with YouTube whatsoever okay now that's done go comment below and let me know where you're from if you want to win either this planner or a $10 PayPal transfer